Hi, my name is Eric Vera. This is for Introduction to Digital Forensics with Alexander Pond for summer 2014. I'm going to show you how to recover data if you've accident, accidentally deleted files or if you're analyzing a drive from someone else to recover data. I'm going to show you how to do it with a couple different tools. I'm going to show you how to do it in Windows and in Linux. I'm also going to show you how to securely delete data so it can't be recovered. If someone tries to recover that data, you don't want it to be recovered. So let's get started. Okay, now we're on my computer. This is a Windows 8.1 system. The wallpaper might be deceiving, but it, it's a Windows 8.1. I'm gonna. Sh the first thing I'm gonna walk you guys through is how to recover data on a Windows system that you've accidentally deleted, or or someone's accidentally deleted, and, and they're asking you to recover for them. I'm gonna go through three programs. There are the three that I use, and if I can find them with these three, I pretty much consider them lost. The first program I'm gonna use is called Kickass Undelete. Uh, let's go to the website right now. Here it is. It's open source. It's not really a website. Someone just made this and they put it up there. It's it's on SourceForge. It's not commercial. So if you want to look at the source code, you could totally do that, or you could download and run it and use it. It's actually pretty useful just to use it. So let's do that right now. I have already downloaded it. I have it in my downloads. Let me just there's no installer. It's a it's a portable executable, so you can run it anywhere you want. You don't have to install it, which I like that. I love portable files a lot more. Keep your system clean. Okay, ArcBang is a FAT32. It's a removable drive that I have copied. It used to be a boot disk for ArchBang, which is a, distribu a distribution of Arch Linux. But however, I put some more media files on it, and it has a lot of system files, I've been using it for years, so there might be a ton of files on there that, that have been deleted, that I might recover. It's probably going to recover the most recent files because the other ones have been overridden. So let's see what it finds. But as you can see here, Windows says that this drive is empty. Right here, this is my F drive, ArcBank. That's the drive I'm going to recover right now. 14.4 gigabytes free out of 14.4 gigabytes. So to Windows, this is empty. This folder, there's nothing in this folder. Now, let's see what we can find once we use a recovery tool. That was pretty fast. Here's everything that's unallocated on, uh, well, let me, let's show everything. This is everything that's unallocated on the flash drive. However, the files are still intact. Here it says that chance of recovery good. If it found an intact file, it'll say it can't find it, or if it can't even recognize the file, it won't even list it. The, the reason why some files are found and some files are not found is the way the delete works, unless you securely delete a file and you have the intention for it not to be recovered, usually operating systems such as Windows, Linux, and Mac, they won't delete the data. What they do is delete the link to the data so the operating system won't, won't see it. And there's free space on your hard drive so it'll just skip over that allocated space that that it just unallocated and it, it'll write in the empty space. Now when your drive gets filled up, it'll go back, your operating system usually goes back to to all the files that were unallocated but are still but are still still contain data and it will overwrite them. This this process makes recovery of some files impossible. So if you have a big hard drive, an empty an empty disk drive and you deleted something on it and you you've been using it you might not recover it because it's been overridden. But there's, a, there's still a really good chance that, that you could recover it because most people don't fill up their hard drive. Now let's see. So this is all it found. And I put a couple, I put like a, two, a gigabyte long movie and a two gigabyte big movie and it didn't find them. And now that doesn't surprise me. I'm gonna use more low level tools. I doubt that they will find them. But we'll see. This is the process you go through when you're looking for your files. So this is everything it found. Let me let me get rid of the system files because this is pretty much all the Linux and unknown file types that are like unique to the installation. However, there's some media files. Here's some pictures. Also, here's a couple videos. The same video in different formats. It found both of the videos. Then we download the MP4 version. There's an Avi version, but the MP4 will play for sure. Okay. So hit restore files. And then you just pick where you want. I'm going to make a new folder on my desktop. Keep it simple.
restore okay and that's it just like you're copying from a regular hard drive because the data is still there now let's see here's the picture that I got that's not the greatest picture in the world but it's a picture there you go it's a little loading screen that's what the arch uses to install it's a little cursor loading thing now it was deleted and it found it now here is a video that I intentionally put on there and deleted on purpose so I could find it and this video is only 12 point I forget how big it, it's 11.8 megabytes it's a relatively small file compared to my 1 gigabyte or 800 megabyte 2 gigabyte long videos that I put on there that I couldn't find probably because they were overridden over the last few days that I've been using this however this one is a this one was not overridden for whatever reason now I'm going to use recover to recover files that you've accidentally deleted if kickass undelete didn't find them or it did find them and it wasn't able to recover them this is the second program I like to run when I'm looking for files here it picks what kind of files you're looking for I'm gonna do all files just to so just list everything on it and then I'll, I'll now you, I don't recommend to do all files if you know you're looking for a picture do a picture if you know you're looking for music do music if not it's gonna list a whole bunch of files that, you, that you've never seen before and it'll get it'll get messy it'll be hard to find the file you're looking for but for now I'm gonna do all files since I have no specific intention of looking for a file I'm just gonna see what's on there and I'm gonna show you how to recover a file should you find the file that you deleted accidentally so let's hit next now this picks, lets you pick where you want to search it's pretty user friendly but I know that I want to search my entire F drive so I'm going to do F drive and hit next now deep scan is if you can't find is if you can't find it using the quick scan what deep scan does is it uses a more lower level scanning method whereas the scan I'm about to run it runs on the operating system level like kickass undelete ran on the operating system level so deep scan usually you could find files that you wouldn't be able to find doing an operating system level scan but for now I'm gonna do an operating system level scan and if you don't find the file you're looking for I recommend you do the deep scan usually you would find it maybe if it's been overwritten you can't recover it then it's lost but let's do start and see what we find here we go these are basically the same almost the same I guess it would be the same file that kickass undelete found it says 322 kickass undelete did it didn't tell you how many files it found but it, it looks about the same they're mostly Linux system files installation files but here's a video from the same video that it found that kickass undelete found there's one that is a AVI there's one that's an MP4 now recover lets you preview files if, if you wanted to uh, such as this text file nope you can't preview that alright well to, to restore them you just click the checkbox Click the checkbox, hit recover. Now again, it's going to ask you to pick where you want to restore the files. I'm going to restore them in here. Let me delete these. And if I want, I can always recover them, right? Now, restore. There they are. Let's open them and see what they look like. That is a bunch of garbage. Now, I really have no idea what this file is. I don't know. It could be corrupt. Or it could just be that's the way it's supposed to be. That's probably the way it's supposed to be. I don't know why it's a .txt. It looks like a binary file. But let me use a video file. And let's see how big it is. 11.8 megabytes. Well, there are your files. You could if you want if you have pictures, you can find them there. So that's how you that's how you use Recover. Now, this other file is very low level it does not matter what operating system wrote the files or deleted the files this goes to lo as low as it can to your hard drive and it reads everything at the sector level and it tries to find your deleted files so let's run it test disk is has a lot of purposes besides recovery files test disk has a it's kind of an add-on called photo recovery photo rec that that the that add-on is what is what actually recovers files. It doesn't only recover photo files, it recovers all kinds of files. It's called photo rec though. But the photo rec is what we're actually gonna use. So let's start photo rec win.exe. Oh I, I did it earlier. I don't 
Alright, let me hit no. Alright. Here it's gonna list all the drives that, that's connected to your computer. And just to make things quick, I've been using this drive. You could do the physical drive, or you could do the drive that has Windows listed. I like to do the physical drive. I feel it's more low level. Yeah. And this tells you what partition you want. I pretty much have one partition, which is the whole disk. It'll, it'll, it'll most likely find the same things, but let me let me just do no partition. I'm gonna do the whole disk. And this is FAT32, so I have to pick other. Let it know. And just like that. Now you have to pick what directory you want to save everything into. I'm just going to click, I'm going to pick my desktop slash restore because that's what I've been using. Let me delete those files again. So I'm going to do restore, then you hit C as it says right here, hit C when the destination is correct. Now it's going through a very low level recovery process. It's going to look for any kind of files it can find. This takes a lot longer than recover or kick us on delete because it works at a low level. This is, this is I would say this would be the equivalent of a recover deep scan. This takes a while, so I will speed through this. Alright, so I've let the test disk run for about three and a half, almost three and a half hours. It's already found 240 files. All the files that it finds will be in this directory. Now the only thing I don't like about test disk is the names of the files. It doesn't keep the names. So you really have to know what you're looking for. You would have to know, to find your file the easiest way would be to know the, the file type and the file size. They could, that kind of narrows it down. Uh, let me find, it's not done yet, but let me see if I could find the video that we found earlier. It's about 11.8 megabytes, I believe. And it's also an MP4. So I'm sorting by type, and here's all the MP4 video. Now what's interesting here is it looks like it's found two much bigger files, two much bigger movie files than, than the other two. The other two couldn't find these two. The other two, Recover and Kick-Ass Delete couldn't find these two. But it did find this one. Now let's, let's verify this. Hey, 11.8 megabytes. It's exactly the same as the other two. So it's, it's working. It's doing this thing. It just it, it automatically copies all the files over. You don't pick which ones you want like the other two. Children. But it's a better scan. And it takes a lot longer. Well, let me show you how to use S delete. This is the last thing I'll show you guys how to do. This is for if you want to delete files on your computer and they can't be recovered. You don't want anybody to recover them later. Or you want to securely delete them, like sensitive data, social security numbers, credit card numbers things of that nature. The tool is made by Microsoft, it's called S-Delete, Secure Delete, and it doesn't come with Windows, but you have to go download it from their site, right here. Download it, I've already downloaded it and extracted the contents, and these are the two files that are in that archive, there's S-Delete.exe and, and the user license agreement. You can't just double click it and run it, it's a command line program, so you would have to run it through CMD. And the documentation states that you should run it as an administrator, so I'm going to do that. Now here's my administrator terminal, or DOS prompt, and I have to change the directory to wherever I downloaded uh, sdelete, which would be C user Eric the desktop sdelete. Now if I, I if I do dir. I will, it'll list two files, there they are. Now if you want to delete them, you don't know how to use this program, just type in sdelete, it'll list the arguments that you could give it. I'm just going to delete this folder that says delete me, just to show you how it works. I put a couple files in here, subdirectories, with a lot of, with a lot of stuff in it. In order to securely delete that, you would have to sdelete, and 
R or S for where I recursive. I like R, it makes more sense. And the path that you want to delete, which would be C users Eric desktop. Delete me. Well, you gotta make sure you type everything in right. Ah, aha. The slashes, the slashes of candy. There you go. Now you could, you could, it, it went through it. Let's check. Oh, it's it's deleting. This is this is gonna take a lot longer than a normal delete because you have to. It's writing to the disk, whereas the usual delete function does not write to disk. It simply deletes the link to the data, and this program overwrites the data. It zeroes it out. It writes zeros where the data should be. Okay, it's done. Now I showed you the file size of this earlier. It's about two gigs gigabytes let's just look at it now zero bytes the folder's still there because the folder technically isn't really data it's like a placeholder for data but everything inside the folder has been deleted you won't find the files in your recycle bin also you won't be able to recover them using any of the tools that i used earlier and that's it no one can find that file and i mean now you guys know how to recover data and how to prevent data from being recovered. Thanks for watching.